The global scope of the terror investigation was especially evident today as authorities in several European countries reported arrests and other progress. CBS's Mark Phillips has that part of the story tonight. Police in Spain today displayed evidence of what they're calling another bin Laden financed terrorist cell. Six Algerians were arrested. Since September 11th, there have been dozens of arrests in Spain, Belgium, the Netherlands, France, and Britain. But security agencies are regretting the arrests that weren't made. Eleven of the hijackers, it turned out, had stayed in Britain. It's unclear for how long, before flying to the U.S. earlier this year. They were joined by three more hijackers who had been staying in Germany. Police are now trying to uncover whatever support structure the hijackers may have had. Everything we know about this loose network of, uh, of activities involving groups drawn from various geographic quarters um, is that there is the probability uh, of a financial trail here within London. The hottest of the European terrorist trails, though, runs through this apartment in Hamburg, Germany. It was here that police say Mohammed Atta, believed to have flown the first plane into the Trade Center, and two other hijackers may have planned the attack. German police are now seeking two other suspects with whom Atta had contact. The European connection is worrying not just because it shows the reach of the bin Laden network, but because it might just be the tip of the terrorist iceberg. Police say there may be hundreds more sleeper terrorist agents waiting to be activated for the next attack here or in the U.S. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.